everyone, it's Andrea Walford here for SimonSaysStamp.com. Today I'm going to show you how I created this card using a paper piecing technique along with the Simon Says Stamp Winter Warmth Stamp Set and coordinating dies. So I have here a scrap piece of my 120 pound weight Simon Says Stamp cardstock, and I'm going to start by stamping my Warm Winter Wishes sentiment from the Winter Warmth Stamp Set onto the bottom of that scrap piece of cardstock using my Simon Says Stamp black ink. Then I've taken the hat and mitts, mounted them onto one acrylic block, and I'm stamping them just above the sentiment. So I'm now taking the coordinating Warm Wishes craft dies and positioning them over top of each of the stamped images. Now to hold them in place, I'm using a Scotch repositionable tape, and it's simply a low-tack tape that keeps my dies from shifting as I run them through my Big Shot. So I'm back from my Big Shot, and as you can see, all my pieces have now been die cut, so I'm going to set those aside as we move on to the next step. So rather than coloring my images, I decided to use one of my favorite techniques, which is paper piecing. Now I like this because it allows you to get some patterns and textures in your outline images that would be very difficult to achieve if you were trying to color them. And in terms of how long it takes to actually paper piece the images, it really doesn't take that much more time than if you were to color them by hand. So I've chosen two different patterns of paper that come from the Fancy Pants Oh Dear 6x6 paper pad. And I'm stamping my images twice, once onto that very textured pattern that you saw, and once onto this solid red piece. And then I'm going to be using elements of both and assembling them onto my image. So using a fine tip pair of scissors, I'm going to be cutting out the inner portion of the hat, so excluding the rim and the pom-pom, and I'm going to be cutting out just the top portion of the mitts. And I'm cutting very close to the line, so I don't want to leave any kind of border outside the line showing, but I do want to make sure that the line stays intact. So it's now time to piece our images together. So you can see I've brought back the images that I stamped then die cut from the Simon Says Stamp cardstock. And I'm now taking my pattern paper pieces that I cut out with my scissors and I'm layering them on top of the white cardstock pieces. Now for the pretty much all the pieces except for the pom-pom, I'm just sticking them on using a liquid glue, my Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue. But for the little pom-pom, just to give it a bit more dimension, I'm using a tiny little piece of my dimensional foam. So I'm now assembling the elements of my card onto a four by five and a quarter inch piece of pattern paper that comes from that same six by six Oh Dear paper pad from Fancy Pants. I positioned my pieces onto the pattern paper for placement and then placed a medium sized glue dot just above where I knew the banner was going to be and stuck a piece of folded twine to that. And then using some three dimensional foam squares, I adhered my banner over top. So the banner also kind of helps hold that piece of Baker's twine in place. I then positioned my mitts onto my pattern paper piece kind of where I thought I wanted them to be so I could use that to trim my twine to the correct length and then held the ends of the twine in place using some glue dots and I did that because then it helps keep the twine pieces nice and taut. So once I'd done that using some three-dimensional foam squares I just placed my mitts over top and kind of angled them a little bit so it sort of looked like they were hanging from a hook. Now in order to cover that top part of the twine I Put my hat up there of course and I started off by taking some foam squares and rather than putting them on the hat itself I put them over top of the glue dot around the twine and then placed my hat over top. So with all the elements assembled onto my panel it's now time to mount it onto my card front and I created a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card out of my 120 pound weight Simon Says Stamp cardstock. So now just to glitz up my card a little bit, because I always like to add a little touch of sparkle, I took my clear Wink of Stella brush pen and I brushed it over top of the cuffs of my mitts, the pom-pom of my hat, as well as the rim of my hat. So my final step for this card is to add one of my favorite products ever, and that's my Simon Says Stamp Assorted Moonshine Sequins. They are just so beautifully sparkly, and I love the fact that they come in three different sizes. Those teeny little sequins are absolutely adorable, and I find that they sparkle as much as if you were to put rhinestones on, but almost in a much more subtle manner. So I find that I'm starting to reach for these more than I reach for rhinestones. And if you've watched my videos, you know I love rhinestones. Now I'm applying them using my Aileen's Super Thick Tacky Glue. It is a very thick, quick drying glue that dries clear. 
So what I've done is taken a toothpick, dipped it into the glue, and then I'm taking my sequins one at a time and just touching them to the glue on the toothpick. And that makes sure that I put just enough glue on the sequin to hold it in place, but not so much that it comes squishing out the side when I press it down onto my card. So that's how I created my warm winter wishes card. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I look forward to stamping with you again. Thanks for watching.